Right. Well, let me give you an update where we are so far. As of right now, it's very gloomy, and it's a lot further down the road than tomorrow. So, what we got here is the carnage. This is the stuff we're not reusing over here in this general vicinity. There will be more to come, but as of right now, this is what we got. Dust shield, gonna reuse. Knuckle, will reuse. Brake pads, the whole brake setup, will reuse. This, no, I just didn't take it off yet because fluids. The new section. This is just the uh, the tools here, you know, the old ball joint rent kit. This is a seal press, seal press six. The uh, inner axle seals on either side of the pumpkin chunkin. New driver side drive shaft. Whole lot better functioning order than the ladder. New brake lines. Braided. Extendo clips. Got those. Ball joints. Got them for both sides. Um, the new hardware for the hub assembly to get attached to the knuckle. They all came individually packaged. Um, these are the ABS sensors, but then I noticed I needed, you know, a new hub assembly. Got these from Extreme Terrain. They came pre-ABS. Did send these guys back, and I'll just use these on here. And new seat covers. Because mine are roached and full of mud and it'll be easier just to, when I'm cleaning the interior, which is going to be disgusting, I uh, just replace them at that point. Got me some penitent and Trayton WD-40. I got me some, some Rotella HD because, you know, I like the high definition stuff some earl grease and of course brake parts there because i broke everything i guess let's get to it nothing to do it but to get to it nothing nothing to do it but do it i don't know how it goes we're gonna we're gonna go do it let's go let's go roll around on the grass and do it. That doesn't sound right. I'm pretty sure I'm way faster than time at time. It's refurb. Hey, yeah, wait. What, well, yeah? There it is. You should never let your uh, caliper hang because that's bad, okay? The only reason I'm doosing it is because, well, I know that I am going back on with new stainlesses. <sighs> Those are always a bear. Mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe. That's so much faster. Come hither, my darling. Let's go ahead and put the bolts back in there just so I don't lose them. And then rotor. Oh, man. That thing's gross. But I gotta go get that. It's in my tool chest. Today, and I got this front wheel drive axle lock nut socket set. Really, only just for this 29 millimeter which fits the IPR on a 2002 
F-250 Power Choke, a.k.a. Willy. The 35 fits the uh, wheel axle socket lug nut thing. So, winning. Get some lube in all of these. God knows, I constantly need it. Whoa! <laughs> that was spicy. Nice. You're a 21. 22? What do you do? Yeah, you're a 22. Okay. They usually pop right out. There it goes. See? It popped right out. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I need a brake loose. The three bolts that are holding on the hub assembly. There's one here, one here, and one here. Now they're like a 26 spline, something or another. You know what we should get? More tools. Oh, I upgraded by the way. I got rid of that other workbench. And I got more tools. We'll call it a 13. Oh my Zeus. Breaker back bar. Yep, that's what it takes. Something, I don't know. I'm just gonna step on this one. Coming in hot. Mm -hmm. Kick start. Spray something in there. That's really where you need to pit it, pit it, trade it. Be very gentle with that. That's your, your, oh no, it broke off in there. Shit. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> Yahtzee. That's all there is to it. Oh yeah, that one's pretty roach too. Cool. You know what I need now? More tools. Glad, glad you said it. You said it, not me. Look at him. He's been. Looks like he's been sticking out a hot minute. Kind of rusty. So I'm gonna do the right thing. Grab a socket. 
set it on there. See if I can just a little happy Gilmore it and tap it in. Can I get you out of there now? Okay. Oh yeah. It's shattered. Check them. Shattered. I could probably just order a U joint. Always something there to remind me. Remind me life ain't easy. Yeah, okay. Ah! Oh, that's a lot of moisture in there. Oh. And mud. Easy peasy. Okay, cool. Throw this in the keep pile, which is very small. Fisher price for the win this time. Plus the socket. Plus all this. Um, that. To it. Oh. That's probably stuck in there. Yay. Alright. Throw away, pal. Three. Nailed it. I might get a little sandpaper in. Ow! Oh, you bastard. Love bite. I know you didn't mean it. Ow. Yep, there's metal stuck inside of me. Did I have a rag? I don't know. We can clean this out a little bit. And you know what we can use? more tools. Okay. Now let's carefully run our finger back through here. Oh, that's a bit of a mar right there. I don't like that. Oh, that's actually kind of working. Okay, it might be a little hard to see, but I'm getting everything lined up, making sure that uh, the ball joint is lined up perpendicular with the knuckles. Is and the machine my little press thing is lined up you know correctly This aftermarket wheel well inner fender thing is all in the way. I have zero clearance, zero clearance over here. So I might just work on the bottom one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the sleeve I need for this one that's stuck on here. Nailed it. 
Uh, look at these guys, dude. Uh, I hate them. Also, fun fact, only the female mosquitoes bite. I don't know if that's fun, but fact. Uh, more tools. Because the one last night, El Cheapo from the auto parts store was not working. And I got it stuck. So I might just take the one out of there and put it into there and then deal with this later. Different night, same bull stuff. Um, so yeah, I was able to get the lower ball joint on. I ended up going to Harbor Freight once again and got more tools. Because the one I got didn't have this little sleeve or this little sleeve or a little cup thing and all the other switch digits and such and such. So I was able to get it on with that with the uh, Man Wrench 900. Um, I didn't even use the impact because I, I didn't like the angle it was sitting at. Um, I, I guess it's seated in there. I don't see any space. It looks good enough-ish to me. This one, though, having a bit of a problem. This aftermarket inner fender um, just is in all of the ways. So I'm going to have to take off the whole outer fender and then I'm going to take off at least this section of the inner fender. Bye bye. driver's side. I think I got it fully seated on the uppers. Yuppers on the uppers. Put the little dust boots on there. Dust boots. Alright. I like it. Ball joints. Passenger, driver, done. Okay, so I reckon I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here because I'm pretty sure this video is already getting pretty long as it is. Um, I should have just cut it at the deconstruction mode. Unconstruction, deconstruction. And then pick it back up at the reconstruction. But I wanted to get these ball joints in while I had a chance because it's been raining like crazy. So I guess when we come back, we'll be doing knuckles and the axle shafts and then probably if we have time then we'll have to get into the brake lines uh, along with the speed sensors and then the hub assemblies and then the rotors and then the brakes and then maybe some little extra things who knows stay tuned thanks for watching